Welcome to Let's Compare, the show where I take two objects, characters, ideas or brands that you all love, cherish, hate or sin with and see how they stack up against one another. This is the alcohol edition and what better way to start off a new segment than to send two of the most popular spirits against one another to see who comes out on top. So which one is better, vodka or whiskey? As will be the norm, all facts are subject to scrutiny, all thoughts are shared and all opinions are just that. Opinions. Except for mine. For I live in an unassailable fortress of absolute truth and certainty. Bow before your god! We will compare our two contenders in the following 9 categories. As always, the final judgement is mine. And if you agree or disagree, make sure to start an argument in the comment section below. But first, a quick history lesson. The origin of whiskey is a murky one. You see, in our long history of brewing, experimenting and drinking, humans haven't been always the best of record keepers. However, it seems that today the strongest contenders to the title of whiskey birthplace are Ireland and Scotland. But the story might be more interesting and less straightforward than we think. You see, neither country has definitive proof to claim the title. However, the actual making of liquor might date back to around 800 AD, where an Arab chemist named Abu Musa Jabir something something I can't pronounce was messing about and trying to see what would happen if beer, wine or hard cider were distilled even further. Now, no one knows what happened to him, but apparently years later a family of British physicians, the McVeighs, translated medical texts from the Arab world whose secrets of distillation resulted in the first whiskey being made. And as doctors, the McVeighs, or Beatons as they were also known, served both Ireland and Scotland, which means, in a way, both countries might be right. Vodka's story is just as, if not more, complicated. You see, historically both Poland and Russia claim to have brewed the first vodka in the 8th and 9th century respectively, for primarily medicinal purposes, mind you, but early vodka had a lot of impurities in it. This means it is hard to pin down where the impurities stop and actual vodka begins. Around the 15th century, though, we see the first documented export of vodka from Russia to Sweden, yet to truly bring it to the world would take a war. You see, up to this point vodka was more of an Eastern European curiosity. However, after the Napoleonic Wars, Russian soldiers would unsurprisingly bring the drink with them and it would subsequently spread across Europe. So the history of whiskey tells us it's going to start arguments no one can solve and the history of vodka tells us you ain't going to drink it unless you're friends with a Slav. How accurate. Is any of this true or not? Well, I don't know. I simply found a few different versions online and simply cherry-picked the ones I like best. Anyway, now that you're all caught up, let's start this contest. Okay, let's get right into this. Here is the average cost of both beverages in a few key countries and here is the average cost worldwide. Now I chose a few select brands from both, but obviously it's very hard to pin down the exact cost from country to country. However, I've been known to uh, partake in drinking here and there, and my favorite vodka is Absolute, while my favorite whiskey is good old Jack. Now I like both of them, but I find that vodka is actually cheaper and I will often save on the actual mixes I have to buy for it. Because while you can pretty much mix your vodka with any type of juice, whiskey pretty much needs a fizzy drink for it, specifically coke, which ain't that cheap. Now you might argue that you pay for value, but if I had to drink one or the other for the rest of my life, I would pick vodka simply because I can drink it with anything. Really? Well, almost anything. I'll help you be popular. Chart here, chart here, it really isn't any type of contest. I mean, whiskey is in general more popular than vodka, this is primarily due to its popularization through pop culture, and the fact that it's more willingly accepted by both the younger and the older generations. Now, of course, vodka is not without its own supporters. And it's different from country to country, but as a species, we prefer whiskey. Oh god, it's so good. To make this fair, let's specifically talk about drinking one or the other straight. Can you imagine yourself sitting down with a glass of vodka in your hand with some ice and drinking it straight? How about no, you crazy bastard? No, mm, me neither. Whereas whiskey set the trend for the whole sitting on the couch while chewing a cigar and sipping from your cup. Plus, I'll admit it, on its own, whiskey has an aroma and a taste to it, while vodka simply doesn't taste like anything beyond medicine. But what about flavored vodka? 
You shut your mouth before future me comes back and smacks the both of us, okay? I'd rather get the bleach again. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have to break a tie in this one. Look, both whiskey and vodka generally have a strength value of around 40%. Now that value is of course different from brand to brand, but I'm thinking I'm gonna give this one to vodka. Let me explain why before you rip my head off. You see, I tend to believe that whiskey is aged and refined to have different properties and its brands mostly compete in that quality. On the other hand, vodka really doesn't have such things to concern itself with as it has very little taste to begin with, so the rule of thumb for vodka is that the stronger the spirit, the better the spirit. Plus, from my experience, whiskey tends to be forward with you even when mixed and you tend to feel its presence in a timely manner. While vodka tends to sneak up on you, I mean, drink it, mix it, scull it, shoot it, whatever, you'll be fine for the next 10 minutes, but sooner or later, vodka will have its due. I've come to collect. Hmm. So beyond the obvious drinking, what do either of them offer? Well, surprisingly a lot. Whiskey can be used in cooking, disinfecting wounds and getting rid of odors amongst other things. But for everything whiskey can do, vodka can do more. That's right, from giving you shiny hair, soothing jellyfish stings and killing weeds, vodka is an ace of all trades. Now of course most of this is the property of alcohol itself, but let's not forget that whiskey is on average more expensive than vodka, so if you're going to use alcohol as an alternative for pretty much anything around the house, then vodka is your poison of choice to go to. Variety I'll be honest, in my naivety I actually tried to track down and count up all the different brands for each contender, which soon became apparent that I was well out of my league with that one, as the number of brands changes pretty much from week to week as new distilleries are formed and old ones shut down. Regardless, before I gave up I counted 176 brands of vodka and when I tried to do the same with whiskey it quickly became apparent that the gentleman's drink blows its contender out of the water, or <clears throat> in this case the spirit. Okay, here's my honest to goodness opinion. If you're going out on a date and wine is not your fancy, then bring a bottle of whiskey. It gives you a little bit of class that you might need. However, if you're going to a party and you want something that puts you in everyone's good graces, then go with vodka. It's just the easier choice. It can be mixed with a variety of other drinks, it plays nice with most other alcohol and frankly because of this it is more readily accepted. Plus, if you're drinking it straight and you get some on your shirt, it won't usually leave a visible mark, which is very important when you need to get past that bouncer at the nightclub. Mind you, you might still struggle with a lingering odor, though. Both contenders can be drunk in the same manner, whether it is through shots or mixed with other drinks, yet I would say neither should really be sculled. Both make excellent shot choices, in my opinion, yet I think vodka wins this one simply because of the number of cocktails it can be found in. Like two thirds of cocktails nowadays contain some form of vodka in them, mainly due to its neutral taste, which is a lot easier said than done when it comes to whiskey. Personal preference. As might have already been apparent, my personal preference is vodka. Favoritism! I like it more because I can mix it with pretty much anything, because it's nice to my wallet, and let's be honest, I'm a Slav, what else am I gonna drink? So the score is 6 to 3 in favor of vodka, who I declare our winner. But what do you think about all of this? I mean, all the facts that I spoke about are open to your scrutiny, and let's be honest, I based most of my opinions on my own personal experience. Also, let's not forget, each of us has a type of poison we prefer, and that's alright, because that's what makes us unique at the end of the day. As long as it's not flavored vodka. Well, make sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. This is Peter, signing off.